Yo, what is up everybody? This is JJ Supreme or 216. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a throwback Thursday type gameplay. And today we're going to be playing Modern Warfare 3's Infected. We're going to be playing on Terminal using the Akimbo FMG9s. And I am joined by my friends, Lone Wolf 23 that's my brother if you guys don't already know, Asian Stoner Babe, and Captain Kush. So, real quick, I apologize for not uploading any videos for the past month or so. I've just been really busy with life, and it's been getting more and more busy, believe it or not. First off, I've been doing my PlayStation gaming. I have a clan on there. It's not the potatoes, but it's called Overrated Gaming. Uh, my friend Boo Fulopolis, you guys already know him. Me and him created a, um, a gaming channel together on what our clan is called Overrated Gaming. If you guys ever want to go check that out, you can be more than happy to. Uh, we'll be doing clan battles, trolling videos, and stuff like that. There's so much stuff that we can do. It's like really awesome. Our friend Sergeant A Killer, really awesome. And then there's our other friend. I really can't remember his gamer tag, so sorry if you're watching this, bro. But yeah, anyways, that's the first thing that we've been doing. And I've also got my PlayStation gaming channel up. It is Divine Potato. If you guys want to go check that out, you can go ahead. I don't feel like leaving a link in the description. You can look that up if you want to. I'm not going to waste my time, and I'm not going to waste your guys' time doing that either. But if you are more than interested, let me know, and I can post it in another video for you. And um, Bufu has been uploading a lot of more stuff recently too. We've got so much stuff planned. I'll let you guys know in just a little bit. Um, second thing is we are planning to move from Chicago to Arizona um, probably this summer. This is going to be so epic. This is the first time we're actually moving all the way from a different state and staying permanently. Usually we would travel like for vacations and stuff, but this will be permanent. So I'll let you guys in more uh, insight with that as the time goes on, you know, because I'm going to keep you guys updated. Even though my life is kind of boring and I have a lot of epic stuff that goes on, I usually don't tell you guys that. Yeah, so if you ever want any new any stories, I got you, man. Trust me, I could give you hours worth of stories. But um, on the other hand, this game was freaking awesome. Even though I never got to really hit my Moab, um, my friend and uh, I, Asian Stoner Babe, we survived the whole game. It was like a minute left, probably less than a minute, when all the people started trying to rush behind us and try to get us. But we ended up surviving. Thank goodness that these newbish type people didn't really know how to throw the knives, and we, excuse me, and we um, were freaking epic at dodging knives. There were a few times where I had to save her, but heck, it was worth it, you know? Really fun. If there was anybody I could live and try to survive in a zombie apocalypse, besides my brother, which is freaking awesome with weapons and stuff, because he went to the National Guard, right, Oscar? Yes, everybody, this is Lone Wolf 23, but you can catch me on my gaming channel, Otaku Llama, here to tell you guys just that weapons and such are pretty easy to use. It's depending on which um, hand that you write with and which eye is more dominant. And if you're right hand dominant, of course you're going to use your right eye. Um, I'm apodestric, which means that I can use both hands or both eyes when shooting. And apparently when I used to do my kneeling and prone positions, um, I didn't really hit that many targets as I did with um, 300 meter targets. They had the 50, 150 meter, and 200 meter targets, and uh, I really sucked at the kneeling for some reason. I hit like maybe two out of like five. But anyway, the 300 meter targets are the best ones that I always got, so I would be a very great sniper during the zombie apocalypse. And now let's get back with JJ Supreme Order 16. You see what I mean right there? I have no idea what he just said. All I heard was different types of weapons and meters. I don't even really know what the measurements for meters are. But anyways, whatever he said, it sounds all smart articles and I'd be more than happy to survive with him in a zombie apocalypse. Not freaking beast when it comes to fighting and sword fighting, but everybody else don't think so. They think I'm kind of weak. But they haven't seen me fight for real, so you'll, you'll have to find out one of these days. But anyways, yeah, she's the other person that I want to survive with in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, look, she's freaking awesome at Infected. Why wouldn't she be epic? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little fiasco that we just had. I'll give you guys more insight on my brother's little story if you ever want to hear about it. I told you, epic stuff going right on in my life. So make sure to like and subscribe and come back for more epic videos. And make sure to subscribe to my um, Divine Potato channel. Check out my brother's channel. Check out Bufu's channel. And check out our overrated gaming channel. And that's all up to you guys, you know. Until then, peace out, yo. And you all have a great one.